The merchant ship lurched sideways for a moment before coming steady again. No quarter given to pirates, Captain Howe shouted. A series of explosions erupted from the deck of the two-mast ship, followed by a stampede of footsteps. The door to the cabin burst open, slamming into the wall. Evangeline's gaze locked onto her chaperone, Miss Lindy. We are under attack by pirates, she gasped, quickly shutting the door behind her. Locking it, she hurried to Evangeline and Alessio into the formal great cabin. Standing on her tiptoes, Evangeline stared out of a round port window, curiosity blooming through her. As the ship drew near, behind billowy sails, a black flag emblazoned with the dreaded Jolly Roger came into view. A towering brigantine, ominous and swift, it cut through the water like a mythical serpent. Covering her mouth to stop herself from screaming, Evangeline turned her head and stared over her shoulder at Alessio. Standing beside Miss Lindy, he lifted his chin proudly and squared his shoulders. It is the jackal, isn't it? He asked Miss Lindy. Is it Captain Pike? Tears swam in her eyes. I'm afraid it is. Captained by a bloodthirsty man who feared no one, the jackal glided with precision through the water, white foam rising around the bow as it rose and fell. With alarming speed, it careened toward them, inevitably built inside of the cabin as Evangeline scrambled to Belinda. Wrapping her arm around Evangeline, she peered down at her. It will be well, my dear one. Bowing her head, she began to pray. It was just afternoon when the attack on the merchant ship Bluebird began.